All right, guys. Got my bucket of rain, my container of rain water. Oh, yeah. So, this is excited. So, for the small plants, like when I know plant, plants, if it's not raining, I have some water to take care of my plants. Coming right out my garden shed. I'm fixing up this shed. I'm not gonna show you guys inside until I finish. This is my garden shed. This is where I'm gonna be doing my nursery and a lot of things. Welcome back to Planter Garden TV. How are you all doing today? Well, I just wanna show you guys what's going on in the garden today. Yesterday was a planting day. And like I mentioned to you guys, after when it come on a planting day, it's either gonna rain the day before or the day after. I make this clear in videos that I post. Once there's a planting day, there will be rain the day before or on that said day or the day after. So this is what's going on here today. So this is amazing because you know you know plant your plants them and you know the plants them need the water. You know we said some squash seed, we said tomato, we said um you know different type of seed. So with this kind of what's going on here it's also could make them seed germinate faster than we expect. But is water everywhere you see this is why i set up the garden in this way that what happened is the water i can divorce the water from rushing in the garden if it wasn't for this diversion that i did to direct the water the water would be flushing through this garden so if you see what's going on here let me show you all this is water and this water would be rushing to the garden if i did not do this so what i do the water that runs here gonna run down here and also go around this side if you go around this side the water could connect to this drain this drain here you see so all the water that comes from up there let me walk and show you it's rushing to from up here that come from up the bank it coming down to here and rush down here so if it wasn't for this drain all the water would be rushing through the garden and even washing away my compost even here we have a lot of water rushing down here and when it come down here, where it run to? It run to this drain. So basically, I have a like a control of the water. So now, I'm still putting in the work, guys. I'm still cleaning up, so, you know what I'm saying? So it might look a little kind of messy now, but bear with me. So you see now, all the water divorce come around here and come and push itself down there you see so all the water come from up there divorce down here and push itself down here even here let me show you what's going on here this is another drainage right here the water come from up there and it rush itself and push itself over there even around here, I'm not sure if you can see, but around here, the water that comes in this area gonna find itself go around there, go around here, you see, and push itself out here and connect it to this drain. If I did not do this, all the water you see rushing from up there water be pushing itself through the garden and wash away all the compost even mess up the plants them 
So it's very important to be able to control your water from rushing through your garden because it can do a lot of damage. That's the honest truth. It can do plenty damage. So controlling the water system can be very beneficial to you. So I divorce the water to come around here and rush down to this side. You see, we have tons of water here, settling here. So this is an area where water settle, as you can see. So within this area, this is an area where I will plant a lot of plants that love water. Like Edo's, Edo's is a good plant to plant in here because they love water. I'm seeing this on my apple tree. Is it leaves or is getting ready to produce apple? Which one is it? I hope it's pushing apple for me this year. All right, so yes, guys, so what's going on here? All here is the flood. Why here become the flood? Is because all the water that run from the top run around here and push itself around here, even from up there. So what I have to do now, it's come and it settle right here. It settle here and it push itself off slowly. So now I got to dig a change from here that the water can run out easy instead of settle right here. So it's very important on controlling the water from rust to your garden because it can really do a lot of damage. It can wash away your plant. Also, there's another drainage that I create in this area right here. So any water from here come down here, we're gonna happen. It's gonna come in this drain and push itself out there. So it's all about controlling the water. I already start walking on it. And as you see, it's walking. It's saving me from getting my plants them wash away and all the compost wash away from the plant. So I'm basically getting the water out of the garden. I also create, because what's gonna happen, I'm going to plant all down here. So I also create this drainage, this drainage to take the water and push it in this area. So when the water come this way, you push it and it push itself down this. So instead of rushing down through there, I'm gonna take the water from here and direct it. So all the water, I push it around the garden instead of pushing it through the garden. All right? So this is the day after planting day and it's raining and it's exciting because you know the plant's gonna love this rain. So basically what I'm really show you guys is how I divorce the water from rushing through my garden. When you're on a slope, it could be very difficult gardening with the rain. So because of that, it helps me in a lot of way by able to control the water system that flush from that hill, rush through your garden. Because it happened before. So now this is why I, I come up with this plan. Before I start planting, I'm gonna start leading the water from flushing through my garden because when the water flush through your garden it also can wash away the compost that you have that's even how i build a raised bed as well because the raised bed help closing everything so it help keep the compost from washing away itself so get so the good thing about it doing it raised bed and control the water system at the same time all right yes all right guys i hope you guys enjoy this video but this video is about divorcing the water 
from flushing through your garden controlling the water system hope you guys enjoy this video if you're new to the channel subscribe to the channel like the video if you already a subscriber and you did not hit the bell hit that bell thank you guys for all the support peace and love blessing to each and everyone thank you